All right, in this video, we're gonna look at how to get the number of followers from a G Plus page. For example, here I have 685 followers on my G Plus. I'm gonna show you how to get this number. It's gonna be very similar to the two previous videos I did on getting the number of YouTube subscribers and the number of Twitter followers. If you have watched those two videos, and by those two, I mean these two right here, the regex slowing you down. I do talk about regex slowing things down in KOWP, but we also address the Twitter followers. And then this video here, pool time with regular expressions and YouTube subs. Something very similar, just a different social network here. So I'm using incognito mode on Google Chrome, and I do that for a reason, because you want to make sure whoever you're trying to get the number of followers for, whether it be you or somebody else, they can hide this number inside of their settings. Mine is not hidden, I'm not signed in, so anybody could see this. You have to make sure you can see it to be able to grab it. So just like in the previous videos, let's view the page source. This is a big source code here, and I'm going to search for followers. It shows up quite a few times, six times here as a matter of fact. And I'm just gonna go through all of these various pieces and there's several times in here that it shows 685 followers. Right here, right here. Let's see if we have some more. There's another one, I definitely don't want that one. And searching through these, we have these two options, either one of these. Now I'm looking at the tags in the source code, this div tag with the class of this stuff here and then we have another div tag with a class of this right here. So. That could be helpful, maybe, maybe not. Those things may change, so I'm not gonna mess with those, but instead, I'm just gonna to try to mess around with some regex and see if we can get this to work, and then we're gonna double check it on somebody else's G Plus page. For example, Frank Monza, the creator, the developer of all of these custom apps. So uh, we'll give it a test run on that one after we test out the source code for my G Plus followers. So let's copy all this. And over at regxr.com, let's paste it. Now, when I paste this, it's probably going to take a while for it to paste and load. It may slow down regxr.com. Just give it a second. Be patient. It will load up. And what I mean by that is, is I'm trying to highlight and delete some stuff and nothing's happening, I guess, because it's still trying to search for this default regular expression that comes with regxr.com once you load the page up. So once it finds those 24,000 plus matches in my case, I'm going to delete that. And let's search for the word followers. And again, it may be a little bit slow because it's searching through a huge source code. Just be patient, give it a few seconds. So it's showing three matches, which is kind of weird because I was getting six matches back here, but it'll be all right. Now, if we go back to the source code, we have followers with some numbers in front of it, but we have this space right in between here as well. And I've addressed that space by simply doing a dot or a period. So in front of the word followers, I'm gonna put a dot to represent a space. Still got the same three matches, but I'm also going to be looking for a character set of digits or commas. Very similar to YouTube and Twitter. So we got digits and we got commas inside of this character set. I want one or more of those with a plus, very similar to the YouTube and Twitter video. And now we're down to two matches, which is good because these two matches, I guarantee you, are the two matches that have this one and then the other one over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to match everything after the word followers. Do that with a character set, any non-word character, any word character, one or more times. So now we have one match, and let's scroll up through this mile-long <laughs> source code and find where that match is. And the match that it is getting here is that first one that shows up. Take note of this class right here. In the source code, remember how we had two matches where we had the 685 followers, and it is matching with this one, that followers right here, and not this one. Basically what it's doing there is it's matching to the first one that it finds from the top down. And as you can see, the other one is right down here beneath it as well, but it's all right. We got a match right here, that's what we want. Let's go ahead and capture those digits in a capture group, and then let's just match everything in front of it, very similar to the YouTube and Twitter tutorial. Character set, any non-word character or any word character, multiple times. But now let's replace, let's come back in here and replace with that capture group dollar symbol one. And let's see what it returns to us. It's only returning a five. Remember, we have to put this lazy character, the question mark, and now we're going to get 685. So this should be good enough to copy and paste over in KOWP. So I'm gonna take one of these components, the Twitter followers, for example, I'm going to copy and paste, dragging it out of my clipped region. Let's go ahead and rename it to G plus followers. And let's go ahead and change the URL. We want to get this one now.
change my description. And let's go ahead and export this thing before we do the regex, because remember that regex can slow things down in KOWP, as I mentioned in the Twitter follower tutorial. So now if we're back inside of this G plus followers component, I'm gonna go ahead and take this entire component and I'm going to position it at the bottom of the screen. Can't see anything right now because of the old regex from the Twitter followers. So let's delete the old regex and let's copy and paste in this new one from regexr.com. So there's a new regex code pasted in. Let's check it, let's save it. And remember, if you get this spinning thing, let's take this component, let's re-export it again. This is gonna have the regex code applied to it now. And then if I close custom completely, I'll just close it right here from the apps. Let's open custom back up and let's add that component. Bringing it out of the clip region. And there it is right there. Let's save it, go back to the home screen and there's our G plus followers. Now let's double check and make sure this works with another G plus user. So I'm taking Frank's copy and paste into the component. Check it, it's not showing anything. Oh, there it is, 2,870, and that matches over here perfectly, yep. Let's go back to the home screen, and there it is, perfect. So there you have it, that's how you can get the G Plus followers, very similar to the YouTube and the Twitter, using a little bit of regex, and again, showing you that workaround of maybe exporting the component and then re-importing it if your regex is slowing down your ability to save your preset. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.